Hello, YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to Work Out of Change. So the Washington uh, Commanders are uh, going through a lot of changes. If you like this video and you want to subscribe at the end of this, cool. If you don't, it's all good. If you want to help the channel and help our production, you can donate here at my cash app. I appreciate y'all. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. I'm sorry, guys. I, I always double click, so I always pull it back up on accident. I'm so used to double clicking every time I get into a new screen. So this is coming from the Native American Guardian Association founder and President Enos Davison. Okay, so they're talking about pretty much they're talking about how they don't like the name Washington Commanders and they are willing to take some actions if things don't change. So let's start right here. As you are undoubtedly aware, the Redskins had a long and mutual beneficial relationship with the American India Indian community dating back to their founding in 1932 as the Boston Braves when their original coach was Native American and former Carlson Indian star Lone Star Deaths. The name, the team was renamed the Redskins in 1933 and successfully carried out that moniker for 87 years during which the team won five uh, NFL championships and three Super Bowls, 1982, 1987, and 1991 which your own organization previously marked incorrectly as 1983, 1988, and 1992. During that time, it became one of the most well-known and well-loved professional sports teams, except to the Dallas Cowboy fans, in the world and was avidly supported across the U.S. by the Native, Native fan groups such as the 505 Redskins and many others. In 2015, our organization filed an amicus, I think which is how you say it, amicus brief on behalf of of the Redskins in support of their successful First Amendment case, which overruled a finding by the U.S. Patient, uh, oh, sorry, Patent Office that was that the name could not be registered as a trademark because it was derogatory. Our fact-based arguments have won in both states, both state and federal courts, that NBC Sports even headline Redskins win trademark fight over the name as Justice Department gives up by Charles Williams, published in June 29, 2017. In fact, we strongly disputed the conclusion and indeed a subsequent poll by the Washington Post released in July 2016 indicating that 90% of Americans agreed with us. You simply cannot erase history and target the Native Americans community by eradicating the name Redskins while being an organization that fosters other constitutional rights, including players who do not honor the American flag in Neil during our national anthem. At this moment in history, we are formally requesting that the team revitalize its relationship with the American Indian community, changing the name back to the Redskins, which recognizes Americans' original inhabitants, and using the team's historic name and legacy to encourage Americans to learn, learn, to learn about, not cancel the history of the American tribe in our role in the founding of this great nation. So... This is what they decide they're going to do with all of this, right? And it's so funny because people really thought that they wanted to change the Redskins. You heard it on Undisputed. Shannon himself was talking about this, how, you know, they wanted to change the name because it sounded derogatory, even though the group did not say that. Um, it, I think they vote went around a while, a while back that said the same thing. Native Americans didn't care that they were called the Redskins. Um, but I, I don't know what made the change or what <laughs> information they got to make them change the name. Anybody who used to say the Washington Redskins, I never thought anything of it. I didn't think it was racist. I didn't think it was uh, um, elitist. I didn't think it was anything. It was just the Washington Redskins. I, I thought about the Native American people. I didn't think of it of us calling them Redskins, but we'll see. As a Native American, um, as the NFL franchise representing the Nationals capital, you have a distinct opportunity to recognize the history and value and value of the American Indian. Other professional teams like Kansas City Chiefs, the Atlanta Braves, and Chicago Blackhawks have kept their Indian-based names. That's a good point. Kansas City Chiefs, the Atlanta Braves, Chicago Blackhawks. Blackhawks won a uh, championship not too long ago. Probably about five, five, six years ago now. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, it was th with the recognition that it carries an obligation of honor and respect. NAGA stands ready to work with you in the ownership group to bring back the historic name and rebuild the team's relationship with Americans, organization, inhabitants, we requested a NAGA working with uh, the NAGA a working group to meet with the, your organization to begin further dialogue on the next step. Also, we have launched a national advocacy campaign, Educate Not Eradicate, on this subject to foster a support from the policymakers, organizations, public institutions, among, the, among others to stop the elimination of the Native American history. 
our online petition, change.org, reclaim the Redskins, which is pinned on our Twitter at Guardians Native and other social media pages have secured over 55,000 signatures on as of August 4th on 2023. And we're just getting started. Should we need to encourage a national boycott similar to what happened to the uh, Anheuser-Busch Bud Light, which is now down $27 billion? No, not one brick stone, not one highway block, not one building burned. We will do just that. In 2023, this oppression and obituary and uh, capricious uh, recognition of the U.S. history and culture to the right is not acceptable. We are standing our ground. If you do not acknowledge history, we are doomed to repeat it. The coin has been tossed. We choose to honor and defend. I look forward to hearing from you. Sincerely, Eunice Davidson, founder and president of the Native American Guardians Association. So, there you have it. <laughs> I pretty much laid it all out for you. Um, I'm not going to lie. Listen, I never saw nothing wrong with the name, but it, I mean, I didn't know why they changed the name. And I can't sit here and say that I was against the name change. I wasn't, I didn't care about them being called the Redskins, nor did I care about the name change. I didn't realize that it was affecting the Native Americans this bad. I said, like I said, I saw a poll, but I didn't know it was taken this seriously. I thought that when they changed it to the commanders, the people were like, ah, oh, whatever, you know? But because what I was seeing, like I said, I saw I watch sports all the time. And what I was seeing is that the Native Americans um, were not liking this and that everybody was for them not being called the Redskins. But it doesn't make sense for you to have the Chicago Blackhawks, the Atlanta Braves and the Kansas City Chiefs only for it's because it's they're called the Redskins. People think that the word red skin is just like somebody calling me black skin. I'm calling an Asian person yellow skin. Uh, and that's what it was. But the woke the woke mob made us truly believe that this was what was really going on. And so I don't know. I read this earlier and I was like, there's no way they're going to change their name back. But we'll see. I mean, why not? I mean, who cares? I mean, just magic johnson already said that they're going to change the name so change it back to the redskins that's what they want because at this point they're going to change the name regardless it has been said that they're going to change the name uh, because you can't just change the name like that you have to it takes a couple of years to do it because of merchandise and stuff like that you have to change the name you have to change the a name on all your merchandise you have to change the name and trademark and so it takes a, lot, a little bit of time legal work stuff like that marketing and all that so it takes a couple of years three four years to probably get it changed right but if you're going to do it and you end up changing it not to the Redskins, that's just ridiculous. If you ended up changing it to like the Washington Mystics, which is a WNBA team. But nonetheless, if they change it to something like that or just change it to the Washington, I okay, not Washington Wizards. Well, what would you call it? The, the, the Washington, the Washington Black Hats or something like that. Just something that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The Washington Hawks. Let's go with that. The Washington Hawks, which are like the Atlanta Hawks. It wouldn't make any sense. You would just end up offending all of these people. It would be like you don't care. It would be like, I don't care. We're not changing the Redskins because you people are supposed to be offended. And that's the problem when it comes to the whole being woke thing is that they push stuff on you that you didn't ask for. It's like you're going to tell the Native Americans themselves, the person who is leading this group. You're going to tell them, the Native Americans, to their face that, no, you should be offended. It's like you don't get to choose that. And they made the name change year 87 years ago. They made the change 87 years ago. I don't know, man. I think you should just change it back to the Redskins. Quit putting all your politics into it. Call them the Redskins. Nobody saw them as the Redskins. Nobody saw, thought, nobody went and walked. I don't know anybody who ever thought, you know what, Native American, we're going to call them Redskins. Same thing as the N-word. I don't think that's what was happening, dude. I don't. I don't. So, let me know what y'all think, man. Should we change the name back to the Washington Redskins? I'm going to be honest. Based off what I'm seeing, and if this is all true, yeah, just change it back, man. It's not going to be that big a deal. Who cares? You went to the Washington football team. The only reason they even changed in the beginning is because of everything that was going on in that, that, that place because they had, like, a racist owner and all that kind of stuff, and it was just crumbling. So they thought changing it would appease the people, but I don't like calling them the Washington football team, nor that I like calling them the Washington commanders. The Washington Redskins sounds right. Especially if it's, it has some historical proponent. But y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.